Hello, welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. In today's lesson, we're going to create one formula that will give us a running total of our year to date sales. So, as each day's sales are reported, we want to see a formula in column C that will total the year to date sales. Now, the challenge will be that the range of cells will need to expand in the formula as each day sales are reported. You'll see the problem if we start to work through the solution. We've entered into cell C2 our formula, equal sum, and then the range of cells is in column B. At this point, we only have one day's worth of sales, and that's correct. In column C, we see the year-to-date sales. It's over here for one day sale in column B. If we were to copy that formula down into C3 and double click, we see that the problem is, is that the range of cells to be totaled to give us the cumulative amount has not expanded. So we must always keep the anchor for row two in column B on the left side of our range. Row two must be frozen in place. It must be anchored. If we put a dollar sign in front of the two, the B dollar sign two in the left side of our range, we solve the problem. Excel has created what's called a mixed cell reference in our range to be summed. So now when we look over here, we see that our range of cells automatically increased because we put a mixed cell reference. We put a dollar sign in front of row two in the left side of our range to be summed. That's the way to do it. Create a mixed range reference, a mixed cell reference. We put a dollar sign in front of the row in the column that we wanted to have frozen in place. And now we can autofill this formula quickly down. Move your cell, uh, your mouse over to the right, lower right corner of the cell. Double click, and there we filled our formula all the way down. Now, one other thing to notice, you see these little green triangles over here in the upper left corner of the cells? They're a smart tag. Excel has told us that it's spotting a possible inconsistency. It's saying the formula in this cell refers to a range that has additional numbers adjacent to it. Yes, we know that. To get rid of it, we can just click down here and say ignore the cell. Well, we don't want to do that for each cell one at a time. How can we get rid of those green smart tags all at once? Highlight the range of cells that include the green triangles, the smart tags, and then go up onto the smart tag, drop down, and choose ignore error. Since we had selected the range in advance, when we click it once, all of the green triangles disappear. So there you have it. You've learned how to create a running total. We'll see you in the next Tips and Time Savers.